Residents near Central Medford High School trying to deal with a strike taking place right in their neighborhood. News 10's Ashley Carrasco continues our team coverage by speaking with neighbors surprised at how loud teachers have been throughout the protest. And there we go. <laughs> there we go, yeah. First the horns, then the dogs. <laughs> Gregory Giambola lives right across the street from Central Medford High. He says while he's used to hearing noise coming from the school, the chaos the Medford teacher strike has brought into the neighborhood is almost unbearable. We had one or two people out here just with a, a bucket and used it as a drum. And we're banging and banging and banging, and I mean all afternoon. His neighbor, Greg Mann, says he's surprised about the way teachers have been acting out. It wasn't a peaceful assembly. No. Mann described Sunday as the most pestering day of all. He says at one point, the protesters came halfway down his block and were yelling at the buses carrying the substitute teachers. They were chanting and yelling for about 30 minutes, and that's when Mann decided he had to speak up. I came out on the porch, asked him to be quiet, and it, I realized then most, you know, apologized, but there was a handful that were really pretty rowdy. Man respects what the teachers are doing, but he is concerned local students who have been considering joining the picket lines might get the wrong impression about how a strike is structured. They might see that as, a, as an example, it teaches some rebellion. Both men want to remind the community most schools in Medford are in a residential area, and they're asking everyone to be considerate. If you want to honk and show your support, that's wonderful, but you don't need to keep honking all the way around the block, you know, and, you know, be aware of the time. We Covering your news in Medford, Ashley Crosco, News 10. Both neighbors thank protesters as there has been less noise the last couple of days. Some Medford residents have now started a petition to recall the school board. The group's Facebook page has already gained about 1,400 likes. They say the petition forms have been filled out and are now waiting for approval from the Jackson County Clerk.